everyone's doing great out there. I know it's been a little bit since you've seen me. I think if you watched my last video, you got a chance to hang out with my daughter. Uh, she did a teen takeover video. So if you haven't watched it, I know it was long, um, but if you haven't watched it, I will try and link it up above so that way you can just click on it and watch it. It came out quite cute. She did finish one of her savings challenges and then did a few of my mine. Um, anyways, my name is Free and you're watching Budget with Free and I want to welcome any and all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for deciding to subscribe to my channel. And I just want to say a very big welcome back to all of my existing subscribers. Um, I couldn't do this without you. You guys are amazing. Keep me on track and uh, keep me going week after week. Before I get into today's video, I do want to mention the hashtag BCL movement by Budgeting April. This week's budgeters that we are focusing on are Donna Joe, Happy Me on a Budget, Saving Your Pennies After Budgeting, and Vanilla Budgets. Uh, they're the budgeters up until Sunday, and then there are four new ones for next week, um, which I will go over probably in the next video. I do have a couple videos to film here. I have a savings challenge video. I also, um, I had to separate my, normally I take my mom's income and combine it with mine, but I have not, meaning the 400 that I take from my mom, I have not pulled her money out yet, so that's going to be a separate video. And then um, I will have to film my mom's low-income Social Security video as well. So all of those videos should be coming out over the next few days, so keep an eye out for that. And uh, make sure you set your alarms, notifications, whatever you want to call them, um, for any of my upcoming videos. All right, so let's see how much we're working with today. I did do a budget. Now I will say this is my final paycheck. Not really. <laughs> they paid me um, up into the 30th. I believe I'm getting a separate check for six days because my last day of work is next Wednesday. Um, so if they do, I'm not quite sure if they are yet or not, but if they do, then I will end up doing a separate video for that last payment of six days. Um, if they don't, they may decide, you know what, we're giving them four months severance pay, so we're not going to pay them for the six days. I, I'm not quite sure yet how that's going to roll out. Um, but anyway, this is my final paycheck. I also found out that they were, I guess because they're paying, they're keeping our insurance benefit going for July. So normally they take our insurance payment and cut it in half, as well as um, all the other benefits we have. I, I currently have um, dental and I have gap insurance and I have Aflac and I have like, there's several different things. Um, and so they usually take them out in two, cause I get paid twice a month. They take it out half one paycheck, half another. But because we're not gonna be, phys you know, actually getting paychecks in July, even though our insurance is running, they doubled up, actually tripled up on all my payments. Um, so my check was far less <laughs> than it should have been. Um, and it's just what I'm gonna have to deal with, nothing I can do about it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I have, let me get my calculator. I have 100. 20, I went to the ATM and they got they sent me crispy bills here. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500. 
10, 5, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. $665 and some of that will be um, allotted for savings challenges as well. All right, so first thing I need to do is my wallet and see if I have any money left, which I have that and receipts and then there and then there. So not a whole lot. Oh, let me look in here. You have that, some change. Gas, nothing, groceries. And that's it. And I do have to empty my change, but I'll do that later because I don't have my change thing down here. Let's see what we have. Okay, so we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and I do put I do put my leftovers into my investing. So even though I'm not gonna have much of a paycheck anymore, well, no paycheck anymore, really, um, I do wanna still keep my investments going with whatever I can. It won't be as much as I have been putting in. So for my $1 a day for June, it might be fully funded, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So this is fully funded and ready to be invested. And then this one might be fully funded because everything's colored, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 40, 50, okay? So I have not decided which investments I'm going to make yet, but I will over the weekend and then I will make this deposit into here. And then my July, okay. in July, let me see what I have going towards it. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 dollars going towards my dollar a day. So let's go ahead and do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So we will go ahead and just put this money into here. Okay, so now that that is done, let me restuff my wallet. So for spending, I'm putting in $50. Gas is getting $50. This is only gonna be for one week and if I get that other, if I get, end up getting that other check for the six days, I will put my week number two in my cash envelopes. 
and groceries is getting a hundred. Okay. So that is done. All right. And I don't have a lot of small bills here. So we're gonna see if we can add anything along the way. All right, let me just check these off as I go. All right, so medical is getting, I've already filled out the trackers. Each one of my boxes is $5 and I'm putting $50 into medical. Two, four, six, eight, ten. And remember, I'm still doing, like I think for medical out of my severance pay, I will be putting in, I wanted to put in a $2,000 buffer as an emergency fund for medical in case something happens. So this is in addition to that. I'm still gonna stuff, even if it's $5, I'm still gonna stuff something in there um, above and beyond the $2,000. Um, and I also was told by my office manager that she did check with our insurance broker and he said that if we wanted to keep our insurance going, um, that we can just roll it over into our personal names and it wouldn't change the, the amount of money we're paying. But it's just something I have to decide if we can, if I can still afford the payment um, without a paycheck coming in because I wanna say without them paying half of my insurance anymore, I think it's gonna be around 1,700 a month for myself, my husband, and my daughter. And I don't have any paycheck coming in. So I don't know. I mean, it's, I guess it's an option. I had to pay, pay for it out of, for July, which so we're covered for July, but I, and I did pay for that. Um, but I don't know that I can swing that much every month for insurance. So I may look on the marketplace, see what other options are out there before I commit to doing the insurance. Um, I also may have a conversation with my husband about picking up a portion of that and maybe I pay a portion. Um, at the very least, maybe he pick up his part of it and my daughter's and then I'll pay, I'll somehow maybe out of Etsy sales or whatever, I'll pay for my portion, I don't know yet. So anyways, $50 in medical. Car maintenance is not getting anything. I do have a brand new car, so it really doesn't need any maintenance except for oil changes, and I am putting $500 for my severance pay into car maintenance. Clothing is getting $20. And I also am putting money from my severance into clothing. I think I allocated $500 for clothing. So once I get that severance payment, which won't be for, I'd probably be around the 15th of July, I'll update my trackers. Home Essentials is getting $20. And um, I did not, I don't think I put this in my buffer for my budget. So I'm just gonna keep adding to this one. But I have 20, 40. 60, 80, 100, 10, 20. Unbudgeted, again, another one I did not budget for in my buffer, so I'm just gonna keep adding to this one. And it's getting 20, so that's 120. Let me just check these off, I did. Clothing, nothing in car maintenance, home, and unbudgeted. Then we have birthdays, birthdays. I am putting $500 away for birthdays because my daughter's birthday is coming up, but I'm adding 20 into this one today. That's it for my butterfly binder. Next one we have is condo insurance. I am out of my um, severance pay. I'm gonna fully fund 
insurance for the year because it's due in December, November, December, we get the bill and I just wanna have that paid off. So I'm not gonna start on next year's condo insurance because I'm hoping by next year I have some kind of income. So that's not getting stuck. Same thing with the taxes. I'm fully funding taxes and home repairs. This is for my mom's condo. I am adding $20 today. Um, taxes. Oh no, that was uh, condo repairs. Holidays is getting 20, and that's another one that out of my severance, I am putting in a buffer of 500. So this is just in addition to that 500 towards Christmas, Thanksgiving. Dental, I'm adding $50. Let's see what I have in here. 20, 40, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 55, 60. So I'm going to actually take 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100, 150, 100, and I'm adding another 50. I know I have to get my daughter to the dentist, so I need to stuff this one. So now I should have 250, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 50. YouTube is getting $25. This will be for my 1K giveaway, but I have 20, 40, 65 dollars in here now. Subscriptions is not getting anything. And then the last one is my daughter's stuff. So her allowance is getting 20 dollars. Cheer is getting fifty dollars. Twenty, forty, and fifty. And she already I already um fully funded her cheer season. So this is extra money because when I fully funded her cheer season, fully funded means I paid for all the fees that came with it for all her uniforms, for her competition uniform, sideline uniform, practice wear. Uh, it was like $1,300, um, choreography, all of that stuff. So that's fully funded. So this extra money I'm putting away is when she does start competition season, which is months away. I'll have some money put away and saved up for um, travel. I think there's only one that we actually travel for. So I don't need a ton of money, but I'm going to just slowly put away so I have it. So now in cheer, I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. And then her investing, she has 40 in here. So I need to um, match that, but I don't have the money to match that yet, so. All right, so the money we have left over, let me see. So we did everything on my list. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 110. 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. So we do have money left over for our, um, Oh, yeah, yeah, my brain is not working. 
we do have money we left over for savings challenges. So I will add this to the savings challenges and that's going to be it guys. Short and sweet. And, um, hope you enjoyed my small cash stuffing, but little is better than nothing. And that's going to be my mantra going forward for the next few months. Um, as I go through this joblessness. So I am really not gonna actively look for a job in July. Um, I have four months severance, so which after taxes comes out to three months severance. So I've been able to figure out how to budget to stretch that money out. And so there's really, to be honest, no reason for me to work in July and my daughter's home for the summer. So I'd prefer just to relax and take it easy. And I did just um, put a quite a bit of money into my business um, to buy materials. I really am gonna amp up in July on creating new products, new binders, all of the things. And so that's gonna be my focus in July is Etsy. Um, because right now that's really all the income I'm going to have coming in. So I did have a an HR gig that I was doing. It was part it was part of my boss's um, stores that he owns personally outside of you know our company, and he used to have me do it. I would get you know it was part of my salary, so it was part of my job. He did pay me an extra 175 a month on top of my salary because it was a little bit of extra work. But <coughs> um, I basically told them I'm not gonna continue to do it for 175. I mean, I am not that desperate to, it comes out to $44 a week for four stores and handling all their HR, um, handling payroll each week, hiring, maintaining records, putting out ads for new employees and all the things, filing. Um, just, it's a lot of, it's, it comes out, I mean, I do invest probably about four to five hours a week. And to me, that's worth more than $44. I'm not working for minimum wage. There's no reason, I don't need to right now. So I told them I'm not gonna do it. And unless they pay me more money and they've opted not to. So this week I've been training um, the GM to take it all back, which is fine. So there's that going on. So I won't have that side income coming in anymore. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna move right along, see what happens. Um, I also have not heard back anything from my interview that I did have a couple weeks ago, which I didn't expect to because even if they were interested in hiring me, it's not gonna happen until after our contract ends on the 6th. So I am still working till Wednesday. So that's what goes on as far as my updates in my life. Um, all right, if you've stuck around this long, Give me some kind of happy emoji, like something that makes me smile. That's what I want. I don't care if it's an animal, a flower, or what. Just put something that will brighten my day and make me smile. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate all of you. And I will see you next time when I'm doing my savings challenges. Um, until then, take care. Be safe. All right, guys. Bye.